A case of two separate illnesses at the Washington County Humane Society has some animals quarantined at the facility and the doors of the shelter closed. But Pam Serrano reports a new state-of-the-art facility will soon make a sick closure like this one a thing of the past. Closed for 14 days, a case of Parvo and another of Giardia means no cats are coming and going right now at the Washington County Humane Society. A viral outbreak at the shelter has both kennel and cat department shut down for a time. One year old Cena, a Vizsla mix, who came in as a stray, developed a highly contagious virus spread from dog to dog through contact with feces. If left untreated, it can be deadly. They're not taken care of properly if they have parvo. They're kind of left untreated. They're As a puppy, Cena likely never received a single vaccination from a vet. Now she is receiving emergency care off site while the facility undergoes major cleaning as a safety precaution. We're just making sure that no other animals come in right now just while they're being treated. This kitten and the rest of its litter were brought to the after someone discovered they had been left to fend for themselves. They developed Giardia, a virus causing diarrhea and lethargy in cats. A lot of them are dumped and abandoned. There's a big um, crisis with cats, feral cat population, and just kittens being born, and people don't know what to do with them. But soon, a shutdown for common but concerning viruses will be a thing of the past. On the hill, behind the current shelter, is a new $4.5 million facility. We're going to have holding for 60 dogs and 60 cats, so it's going to be a beautiful new space. Executive Director Kelly Proudfit gave us a tour. The facility will include sick isolation units as well as animal holding areas for 60 dogs and cats, a community education room, play yards for enrichment, and a cat colony room. Most of all, for sick outbreaks like this one, there will be no hold on adoptions and abandoned strays like Cena and the kitten litter can continue to come in. And the Washington County Humane Society is looking forward to this multi-million dollar facility to open this fall. In Washington County, Pam Serrano, KDKA News.